Hi, my name is Claudia Arroyo. I'm the executive director uh, of Prospera. And today I'm really excited because we're going to be having a great conversation with Veronica Vences from Latino Community Foundation. And Latino Community Foundation is, is a, a great friend, supporter, champion uh, for Prospera. We share a lot of values. We share a strong love story. And today, Veronica, welcome, uh, because we're going to be talking about an Awareness Day, and a special day for us, for Latino Community Foundation, for Prospera. Tell us a little bit more about you and about um, this special day. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, yes, well, I agree. This is a beautiful love story that we have. I think it's um, a partnership to really uplift our community. Um, so thank you so much for, for joining forces to create awareness on Latina Equal Pay Day. Uh, as you mentioned, mi nombre, my name is Veronica uh, Vero, for all of those that uh, know me. Um, and I have the pleasure and privilege of being the Entrepreneurship Fund Director at the Latino Community Foundation. Um, and today we're here to talk about Latina Equal Pay Day. Um, for those of us that may not be as aware of what this means, uh, it's a day um, that basically pinpoints um, the equal pay for us as Latinas in comparison to a white male. So what does that mean? It means that we would have had to almost work two years to get paid the same amount in the same job as uh, a white male. Um, and that's just not right. Um, so we're here to talk about what does that mean for our community? What are ways that we can change this? Um, and then also talk about how our values as uh, Latinos uh, need, need to show up. It's time for them to show up um, and create a new economy and a new way of thinking in terms of our wages and our value and our um, contributions. I love it because when you are talking about economic, it's like what it comes to my mind is economic justice, is cooperation, is raising our voices, is get together, recognize our work. And okay. all that, as, as we are talking about this partnership that Latino Community Foundation and Prospera, we've been holding through the years, all that um, is connected to also what we promote, that is uh, cooperation, cooperation among us. And, and this is, um, is really connected to worker-owned co-ops uh, because it's about lifting our voices and it's about reclaiming what we deserve in this economy. What do you think? Oh, I completely agree. Um, let, I think one thing that I, I also want to mention is the Latino Community Foundation. Um, we understand that, uh, yes, there's a large population of Latinos, especially in California. But if we don't tap into our economic contribution and the economic engine that we are, um, not only is it not creating a, a larger economy for everybody, but we're not being the owners of our own products, of our own um, uh, like family uh, economies, right? And so uh, with that in mind, we, we started uh, an, a branch of work called economic justice. So exactly what you're saying. Um, it could have been called economic mobility or it could have been called, um, uh, I don't know, financial um, advancement. I think that's what I've heard a lot, but we were very intentional in calling it economic justice uh, because for a very long time, our Latino community has been uh, extracted from and taken advantage of. And so we wanted to flip that around and say, no, we we can be the owners of our businesses. We can be the ones that are um, buying homes and investing in our community and building wealth for ourselves. Um, so yes, I, I, that is, that encompasses everything. And then that is what you're saying. Like, what are the different ways and values that show up in cooperatism or co cooperatismo is a value that we all have. Um, and we come in with, but sometimes 
we get pushed more toward this individualistic way of thinking um, and, and profits only, but instead of thinking about what is good for our community and how can we come together and create something that um, that lifts everybody up. I uh, It gives me bumps when I hear you because um, it really connects me with uh, what we are, we know how to do it. And we, we are really connected to collective um, work. Uh, we call for collective power um, because that's the only way. It's not only about raising a voice by myself, but it's about seeing to the sites, going around, check our ancestors' uh, legacy and raise our voice. So today is a special day because it's a call to recognize or reach um, contribution to not only to this country but to the whole world how we are connected to for the way that we are for uh how we are doing and and being part of the economy is is justice so i love that you chose um justice because it's about recognizing and sometimes it takes time to recognize because it mm -hmm. has been centuries where we've been denied where we are not being seen and being heard so um Talking about equal pay day is really important uh, because it's about recognize, recognizing my contribution. But when I see myself, I see the other people. And, and that's why um, in Prospera, we, saw, so, we see it's crucial, it's so important that we raise our voice. We recognize the history of every single woman because we have unique stories. And that's why we have a podcast. And I'm really excited to, that right now we are connecting uh, the equal pay day, the awareness to, to the awareness of our own stories. Because today in our podcast, we are um, talking about this special uh, topic, Veronica. I love that, Claudia. And I think um, the podcast that everybody will be listening to and tuning into after this um, is it, it lifts up different models. Um, and again, going back to maybe this capitalistic system that we live under and we operate where it's very individualistic, um, it doesn't have to be that way, right? I, I think the pandemic um, showed us that there's other ways, uh, there's mutual cooperation that can happen. Uh, and there's a moment right now, a window of opportunity to say what feels right to us as a community, specifically as a Latino community. And so I get really excited and some of our work is going towards working with uh, cooperatives. Um, I don't know if you know this about me, but uh, about five years ago, I got to visit Mondragón and uh in España so it's like the mecca of cooperatives and um being there and just seeing how they've built a society that is based on that mutual cooperation um and having to make some tough decisions sometimes when it comes to helping others that may mean not having as much for yourself um but that community has been able to thrive and so I do believe that here, um, specifically when we're talking about Latinos and lifting business models that are alternative, um, cooperative, uh, cooperatives are definitely something that already aligns with the way that, that we work. And so I, I love that you're, you're going to be talking about that, how it's disrupting the system, um, how in some ways um, we need to do things that make sense to us and not necessarily are always following the, the, the thread that other people are looking towards. Wow. Uh, Veronica, you are a prosperadora. Just the way that you <laughs> are talking, I feel like, yes, yes. Uh, that's the best way to describe how co-ops contribute to the economic justice because it's about disruption. It's about mm -hmm. changing that the, the way that we've been uh, trained. And I love to say unlearn and, yes. and there to change and saying this is not working for us. And we are able to do it in a different way. And do you know, as we say, we don't need to invent a new way because it's just going back to our roots is going back to how we did it, when how our ancestors did it, how cooperation is part of our essence. 
and and this disruption is about going back sometimes the new is going back it's not only about creating new things but it's about how do you get together to to launch a a party in our pueblos in our towns and how do you get together to celebrate how do you get together to to face um uh, disasters so that's why it's so important to to disrupt i really like the word that you chose and it's connected to the, the to the podcast where we're gonna be talking with daniela preisler about that you need to be a rebel in order mm -hmm. to dare to swim against the current like a salmon because launch a co-op or being part of a co-op or launching a traditional businesses that is not a traditional because cooperates with other businesses because it sees the other women not as a uh, somebody that you need to compete but somebody that you are that you are connected and you're gonna you, you have the opportunity to collaborate so that's why i invite everyone and i am really excited um being together with latino community foundation to uh talk about disruption in a really positive way and talking yeah. about going back to our roots um claiming what it re uh we deserve and you know it's like we've been seeing for through the years um women that our work is sometimes is free because we do it because we love it we take care of the kids we stay mm -hmm. home some of the ones before that's all thinking and 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 I I'm thinking right now in promotoras, how promotoras sí. are amazing. And now that we are talking about equal pay day, how their free work shouldn't be free, and how okay. that is connected to this day where we are creating awareness about that um, we need to disrupt and change and say like. Is that free work or it should be compensated? What do you think? I a thousand percent agree, Claudia. Um, that is one actually of the projects that we're working on are really excited about supporting um, because you're right. Our, the value shouldn't be only about job and hours worked. It's also the connections. It's also the family experience. It's the cultural understanding and all of that unfortunately, sometimes doesn't make it into this compensation model that we currently have. Pero con promotoras, with our promotoras, um, we need to incorporate them. It's been far too long uh, that they've been only receiving a small stipend or gift cards and uh, the value that they bring it is critical. And so I get excited too when we can merge that with cooperatives um, with the understanding that it's it's a value-centric business um, and, and not just a, a, a end bottom line business. And so um, these mujeres typically um, are, are putting their life on the line. They have, como dices tú, so many other roles that they play and yet they're showing up for their community. So it, it is time that they get compensated, recognize that they become visible. Um, and as much as, as we can support them, I think the work that Prospera is doing, the work that Latino Community Foundation is doing, the vision that we have is to make sure that it creates um, a system that supports them and that brings visibility and value to everything that they've been doing for so many years. I love it. And I think that's the perfect closing statement. Today is the day um, sí. to be aware of what we are um, bringing to this society. Today is the day to lift our voice together. Today is the day to recognize our value. Today is the day to connect, to cooperate. And, and that's why it's great. Today is the day to listen this this beautiful podcast where we're going to be talking about cooperation, about being rebel, and about disrupting this um, economical system. So thank you, Veronica. I'm thank really you, Claudia. Gracias. And it's going to be, uh, please tune in because it's a beautiful podcast. Thank you.